The goal of YDOT's Avalanche Control Program is to prevent slides from coming down on open highways carrying traffic. A huge part of our program is deciding when we need to do control work and um, bringing these avalanches down in a controlled manner when the road's closed and we can bring it down and clean it up on our terms. The Avalanche Control Team completed its first missions of 2008 on January 5th and 6th at Hoback Canyon and Teton Pass. The highways were closed for less than an hour, even though the slides left up to 12 feet of snow and debris on the roads. The team uses automated snow control systems, or a howitzer, to bring the snow down. The howitzer takes uh, substantially longer to do a uh, control mission than the automated systems we have here in the office that we can just touch a button on a computer and get the snow down, clean it up, and have the road back open in an hour. Six of the automated systems are installed in the starting zones of the Teton Pass slides that most frequently affect Highway 22. In areas where no devices are installed and the howitzer can't be used for safety reasons, hand charges are used. We'll hike up on snowshoes or skis and throw uh, two or three pounds of high explosives into the slide, the lighted fuse, and that we've had really good success with that. Because of the potential consequences of an avalanche hitting traffic, Yount and Richards keep a close eye on all 43 slide paths along highways in the Jackson area. Avalanches are hit, hit a place like this in probably force magnitudes of about 100 um, pounds per square inch. So they don't just crush things, they'll blow them up. Reminding you, if there's ice and snow, take it slow and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.